Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to show in track controls in Reaper. Now, in track controls makes it a lot easier to adjust our parameters without having plugins actually open. Let me show you. I have a vocal track right here. Let's say we wanted to add an EQ to it. We'll go over here, choose the Reaper one, re EQ. And let's say we wanted to add some top end to it. It's a little dark. We go over here to a high shelf and adjust it. But every time we're working during the mix, we might want to readjust that. But we don't want to have to keep opening and closing this plugin. So what we can do is show in track controls on that track. So let's start by choosing a parameter. We'll choose the frequency just by clicking it. And if we didn't do that, we'd have to go down here to our parameter lists, go to show in track controls, and then find it. It's a lot quicker to first choose it or select it, go to the parameter menu, see what shows up, last touched, which is the high shelf frequency. So from right here, we could choose this, show in track controls. And if we select that, it shows up right over here. So now instead of adjusting it over here, we can make our adjustments right here. And the same thing for gain. We could select it, go up here, last touched is the gain for the high shelf, go to show in track controls, and that shows up here as well. So instead of adjusting it over here or over here, we can make that adjustment right here. Even with this plugin closed. So it's a little bit quicker while we're mixing to make that adjustment either right here or even in the mixer. Let's open up the mixer and let's pull this down right over here. We can see our plugins or our effects up here and down here we see our sends. Let's create a new track, name it bus, and let's send from this track to this one by dragging it. And now you see right here, our send shows up. And we can adjust the send from this track to our bus. So up here are the effects, and down here is our send. But we could also see our in-track controls, this stuff over here. Now it's off by default. If we right click over here, we could choose this option, show effects parameters when size permits. So if we choose this, it shows up right here. And it's based on size. So if we move it around, we won't see it. So just have to move it around a little bit so we can see our plugins, our effects parameters, and our sentence. And each track could be separate. See, this one's different. Or well, we can move them together on the PC, hold on Control, on the Mac, hold on Command, and they move together for all our tracks. Or we can keep them separate. Have this one like this, while this one is like this, based on our needs. So let's set up another one for a different plugin, because we can have as many as we want on multiple plugins. So we'll go back here, and let's add a compressor. And this time, we just want to adjust our threshold right here. So we select it, go to the parameter menu, and choose Show and Track Controls. And now this one shows up here as well. So we can adjust our threshold right from the Track Control panel or from the mixer right here. Now, one of the reasons I made this video is that someone asked me if there was a way to have a trim, a high pass filter, and a low pass filter on every track but they wanted it in the mixer. So it can be as convenient as the polarity switch right here. This is always here, but they wanted the other options to be in the mixer by default as well. So let me show you how to set that up. Let's start by clearing these. We could delete these by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just click them and they go away. Let's clear this one as well. Let's open it back up. Let's add a volume plugin. Now, the reason we're doing it this way is because this person wants it in the mixer. Because obviously in Reaper, there's so many different ways of controlling volume. You can double click all the tracks, 
lower it from here, double click it, do it in the media item properties right here. What we could do with the pre-effects envelope, open it here, choose the volume, pre-effects, and we could do it right from here. But like I said, this person wanted it right in the mixer, right over here, on every channel by default. So this is the way I would set that up. Go to the effects, go to our filter, and type in volume. And right here, we can choose the volume pan smoother for version 5. We'll choose this, and now we can control this volume right from here. Select it, show and check controls, and it shows up right here. And because this plugin is first, it's going to be a pre effects adjustment. So it behaves like a trim for this channel. Now let's add some filters. Go back to our EQ. We'll choose a high pass filter right here. Select it. It shows up right here. And let's add another one. Let's delete these. And on the second band, we'll do a low pass filter. Adjust the bandwidth to about here. Bring it all the way up. Select this one. Show and track controls. And now this one shows up as well. And it's also going to show up in the mixer right here. Here's our plugins, and here's the adjustment. Here's our volume or our trim, the high pass filter and a low pass filter. Now we want to put this on every track by default. Let's delete this one. Now another trick I want to show you here is we can rename our parameters to make them easier to see. Set a call on this volume, let's right click it, go to alias, and change the name to trim. So it shows up like this, trim, in both places. Now for the high pass filter, we could just name it HP. Right click it, go to alias, HP, and for the low pass, we'll rename it LP. It just makes it a bit easier to see what you're doing. It takes up less room, and it could also be more specific. Now we want to have this on by default on every track. So let's go back to this, and let's save this as an effects chain. We have to save it as an effects chain, because if we save it as a preset, it won't save the option to show the in-track controls here and in the mixer. But with effects chains, it will. So let's right click over here, go to effects chains, and choose the option down over here. Save all effects as default chain for new tracks. We could just save it, but we'd have to recall it each time. By choosing this option, it's going to be on by default for new tracks. So we'll choose this. And now if we create new tracks, they're already here with the trim, the high pass filter, the low pass filter obviously the plugins, and everything ready to go in our mixer and the track control panel. Just make a new track, and they're already there. It's quite a time saver. And we can always undo this and put it back to its default. Just delete it all, open this up with nothing on it, right click, go to effects chains, and choose save all effects as default chain for new tracks. And with nothing there, all our new tracks, We'll start with nothing. So it's back to our default. So that's pretty much it. That's show and track controls in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.